Yeah, it's called the Timu F, and it's a grinder for metal, and it's got the perfect width and angle. It says for where this stop is and where this actually cuts and files the blade down. So it basically says you just put it on your drill, take it over your blade while it's on the mower, and you can just run this back and forth, and it cuts the perfect angle right on your mower. I want to take it out there and find out real quick. I think I paid like five bucks for this thing. I got the mower turned up. The gas tank is fairly empty, so nothing's going to leak out of it. I just did the side yard, and I thought about it, and I said, well, I just got that new piece in. Why don't I go ahead and try it? Well, here we are. Let's try it. Let's see what she does. I don't know if I can get a real good idea on what the edge looks like. Not terrible, but it ain't been sharpened in a year and a half, I can tell you that. So, see how easy this thing is. Probably should be using two hands, but let me use two hands real quick, because I need to Alright, I did both sides. I can get all the way to the edge except for that last little piece right there on the end. And it cleaned it up pretty good. All the big burrs and stuff that were in it. And it's not super, super sharp. You don't want it super, super sharp. But it is cleaned up. You got to be careful though because if you start to get it too sharp, it'll start to cut into the plastic. So as soon as I seen a couple little plastic slivers right here and right here, I stopped and I moved to the next section. It actually worked pretty dang good. I have to give it that for sure. It did clean up all them burrs, them real big heavy spots where I've hit stuff on the edge. And then I took it and just ran it along the bottom just a little bit to get the edges, the big chunks, and cleaned right up. Now I'm going to try to mow with it real quick and see what it looks like. All right, the front yard is done. And I want to show you this cut versus this cut over here. Just Let's just see if there's a difference in the way it's cutting the grass. Let's find a, find a fresh blade. Here. Okay. This blade... Not terrible. find another one just to just to confirm our not terrible let's find over here here right here yeah you could tell the difference clearly See, it's more of a nice straight cut now where before it was kind of ripping it not bad before but it cleaned up the edge quite a bit so i would say just taking that little stone to it and cleaning up those burrs and stuff that's in it not making it sharp to where it will actually start cutting things but just cleaning it up keeping the same profile and edge not trying to grind into it and make the contours and stuff different just cleaning it up just running it back and forth a few times getting the burrs and stuff out of it and the edges of where you hit rocks and stuff like that cleaning the edge up not making it sharp the goal is to not make it sharp because grass has to be, it likes to be cut a certain way dull lawnmower blades will rip and tear the grass the jagged edges can make the yard look less than perfect the torn grass also invites pests and disease sharp lawnmower blades will cut the grass cleanly without tearing or ripping inspect lawnmower blades after every 10 hours of mowing this is what the tool actually looks like in the app. This is what the app looks like if you try to find it in the app store to download it. At this point in this video, 
I would suggest you tune away if you're not interested in any other products because I'm going to go on a little rant here and I'm going to show you some products that I bought on this app. And if you're not into buying any of this stuff and you're not into supporting any other countries other than the USA with buying products and stuff like that, don't progress forward. Thank you. Leave the video now. Just leave. Go ahead. Now, if you're staying, we're going to talk about some other stuff and it's going to be quick. Be blessed. Made it this far. Let's have some fun. Let's talk about some other products that I bought. You can find cheap. If you are here beyond the point where I've given you the cutoff to let you know this may upset you because I have bought other products from this app and you're going to continue to complain about it, well, you're the problem, not me. Let's begin. Now, by no means am I pushing any of you to go here and go search out this app and, 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 and do anything that you don't feel comfortable doing. Yes, this is a Chinese retailer, and yes, some of you are going to have some very nasty choice things to say to this video that's i don't care i'm not responding to the comment section if you can't do the homework to go find these products it's not my job to go find it for you i've demonstrated the tool i've showed you how it works i've proved it working regardless of what you think it's two dollars literally it's two dollars on the app when you find it you order it and then you're going to find a bunch of other things you like too like i want to go on vacation soon right I also want to, I'm also going to Vegas soon, but I'm also, I have a honeymoon next year and I want to go somewhere warm and nice. So what did I do? I bought like a dozen different pair of cheap five, six, seven dollar uh, swimming shorts, nice light shorts, because I don't want to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on shorts when I'm going to ruin them and destroy them. So what did I do? I went out and bought all of the light vacationing shorts that... I could literally put my hands on that are my style and they were four or five, six dollars a pair and I just bought as many as I thought I needed from this app. I literally bought a pair of loafing shoes that I'm going to tear up, bought like a dozen different pair of shorts, like six or seven different shirts that I can't find anywhere else. This app literally has shirts that you're going to find that you want to wear. That you want things like uh there's a shirt on there that says something like um i uh you finally have called me an asshole i've finally achieved my goal or if you're if you think i'm an asshole i've finally achieved my goal there's things like that that you want to say out loud that you can't say out loud and that you want people to make those shirts but they don't make those shirts you find it there because they do make those shirts they find they have shirts that say whatever you want literally almost explicitly whatever you want there where you cannot find them anywhere else so i've been playing around with the app to see i've made i put my order in about two weeks ago in about a week and a half i got an update saying that it was shipping and a few days later it made it here so just wanted to share some products with you i know some of you ain't gonna like the fact that i'm using this app to purchase these things but i gotta live too and i'm gonna use what's available to me i figure if i can't fight the man I don't want to join the man, I may as well use the product that's coming from the man, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Beyond that, I don't know what else to say. Some of you are going to think negative, but it is what it is. Have a great night. Be blessed.